Hey everyone, welcome back to the Network Advisor. This is Steve. I've got this cool new tool uh, added to my arsenal recently and I thought I'd share it with you. Now, these are USB uh, voltage and uh, current uh, monitoring tools. I'm certainly no expert in this department, but I do know that as we move even further and further into an age where USB seems to be everything in terms of charging, connecting, interoperability, knowing whether or not a USB uh, port is good in terms of what it's putting out for voltage is, is important. So, uh, so again, not an expert, but I just want to show you some of the basic things I've figured out already. So this is my little battery pack. This is what I take with me when I'm out in the field and I use to charge up different things. And what I can do, for instance, is I can take this little meter right here and I can plug it in there and it comes on, it boots up. And then what it'll show me is it'll show me the voltage available at that USB port. So that tells me that, okay, I got a USB port, it's giving out five volts, which is should, but there's no amperage. All right, so this was sold as a kit. Now you can also get these online without this part. You can get just the, the meter part, but this is a load tester. So what this does is, well, let me hook it up and I'll show you. It's essentially providing some kind of an artificial load. So when I plug this in, now initially nothing happens, but here in the back, it's letting me know that it's, it's ready to load um, 1.00 uh, amp of load on there. So when I press this, one, there's some little buttons on here. When I press this button, it puts the load on. So what it's got like a heat sink in it. So what it's doing is it's absorbing the energy into the heat sink. And then actually you turn the load up higher, or if it gets hot enough, the fan actually kicks on. So I can see I've got, you know, one amp being drawn. I can also see a little bit of a voltage drop. I think that's, probably kind of normal. So you see, we're not, we're not at five volts anymore. We're, and it actually, it does put us sleep sometimes. Uh, we're not at five volts anymore. We're at 4.9. Now I did notice when I was messing with this, that there's a little knob over here that lets you increase the load. So like, if I want to turn this up, I could turn this up to like, say for instance, uh, like maybe 1.5. Um, I'm going to be a little cautious with this and I'll tell you why because I don't know what damage I could potentially do by turning the load up too high. I know the load goes all the way to four amps, and I don't think a lot of devices are designed to put that much out. Now I can see here, I've set the, the, the amperage load for 1.5. I can also see that the voltage here is kind of maintaining. It hasn't dropped that much. Um, if it dropped below four, I'd be concerned, um, but I can see the amperage is roughly the same showing on, on the meter as it is on the load. And now you can also see the fan kicked on the other thing I can do is I can scroll through on the load tester and I can see the, um, I'm not sure what that is. That might be a uh, wattage. Is the, I'll have to, God forbid I should read the manual maybe. Um, but there's my voltage. So what's interesting here is that the load tester says it's 4.7 volts. Back here, it should say roughly the same thing. Well, it says 4.8, 4.7. So slight discrepancy there. So I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold this in the camera where you guys can see the whole thing, but also still see it close up at the same time. What I thought would be cool about this, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my load off. Uh, I was, I'm was, i sorry, I was about to say before I got digressed there, is that don't turn the load up, the, the knob up too high, because what you could end up doing is damaging the USB port. Now, fortunately, I think most quality devices are designed to basically shut the power off to the USB port if it gets overdrawn. Um, like I noticed when I was turning this one up to like above two, the whole thing would just shut off. And I think it's because my power pack is just simply saying, hey, sorry, I can't deliver more than that. All right, so what I thought this would be cool for and what, what it was billed as when I was looking it up online um, is you can test different types of cords. So it's got the regular USB connector, but it's also got a C connector and also the, um, what do they call that, the, the mini. And so for instance, you could take like a cord like this and you can say, okay, I'm going to put the cord into the meter. I'm going to put the other end of the cord into the load, uh, like so. And I guess what it could do, I don't know whether this is a valid test or not. Again, I'm not pretending to be a USB uh, expert. I'm just showing you what I've got and maybe you're interested, maybe you're not. Um, is that when I turn the load on, is there a voltage discrepancy? So I can see here, I turn on the load, I've got, got 1.5 on the meter, I've got 1.5 on the load tester. Now if I were to take and, and go over to my voltage, 
My voltage says 4.3. I oh, know that's interesting. So there is a discrepancy between the voltage of the load tester and the voltage on the meter. And that's telling me that there's a voltage drop in the cable. Now, before I immediately say, aha, the cable must be a piece of junk, therefore I should throw it out. I don't know. It may be, and maybe you can comment and let me know if you know better. Maybe just a certain amount of voltage drop is just inherent in any type of cable. So I don't know whether that tells me that whether this is a bad cable or not, but the voltage drop might just be completely normal no matter what cable I use. So anyway, so I just thought that was interesting. If you wanted to, to get something like this to add to your toolkit to, to test out uh, USB ports and to see if they produce the voltage that they should be producing. And, you know, like this was sold as a kit when I got it. I got this, you know, at the usual suspect place, you can imagine. Um, I bought these two together, but you can get the, just the meter part by itself. Um, and I'll say this kit together was 39, I think, US dollars, 39 dollars US. Um, but I've seen these little meters in various, uh, various levels of how much amperage they can hold anywhere. I've seen some of them as cheap as like, like 15, 17 dollars for like, for like the little two amp versions. This one goes, supposedly goes up to five amp. The load tester here goes up to 4.1 amp of load. So depending on, I would say most of the things you're going to test probably aren't going to produce much more than about two amps. So you'd probably be fine um, getting one of the two amp versions. All right, well, let me know what you think. You know, there might be some le electrical engineer type peoples out there that know more than me. I'd be happy to hear uh, your input or, or, or what you think about these and uh, hope that uh, at least you found that somewhat interesting and useful. Thanks for watching.